All right, so the second part of chapter eight focuses on um, chromosomal mutations. And in this link, we're gonna look specifically at duplication. So duplication um, is a chromosomal rearrangement or a change in a chromosome structure that is the result of duplicated uh, gene information on a chromosome. So duplications can be of major concern depending on what chromosome they actually occur on. So this chart here, which is table 8.1 from your book, gives us um, the, the duplication type of rearrangement followed by the different chromosomes that we commonly see rearrangements on and then some of the symptoms that we see of these rearrangements. So there's no major disorders with duplication um, but if we see a duplication on chromosome 4, some of the symptoms of that might be an individual that has a small head, a short neck, or a low hairline. Um, and then that duplication, um, if it's on the long arm of chromosome 4, will result, may result in a small head, a sloping forehead, and some hand abnormalities. And then um, if we see duplication happen on chromosome number seven on the long arm, um, we see a delay in development actually starting to happen at that point. And if we see a duplication on uh, chromosome nine on the short arm, then um, we get some distinct facial features um, and then very high intellectual disabilities. And um, in, in not very high, but uh, intellectual disabilities. And some of those may come with hand abnormalities as well. So um, we do see some issues actually start to crop up with duplication, but for the most part, individuals are able to um, live with some of those symptoms. So there's four chromosomal rearrangements um, that can occur and that are well documented, and that's duplication, deletion, inversion, and translocation. And in this segment, we're going to concentrate on duplications. And again, this is where genetic information on the chromosome has actually been doubled. Two types of duplication can take place, either tandem du duplication, where we see the genes in question, um, actually being duplicated right after the original copy of the gene. So for example here, the, um, the genes in question are going to be represented, or uh, specific genes are going to be represented by letters. So we have gene A, B, etc. The period is going to be the, where the chromosome is at, or the centromere is at, and then we have the long arm, or Q, um, of the chromosome after that. So we can see in a duplicated situation that we could get the um, genes on the long arm being C, D, E, F, and then E, F again. So that is where that genetic information for genes E and F are showing up or being duplicated right after where they originally occurred or were supposed to occur. The second type of displace or of duplication is displaced duplication, and um, it's not shown here in this figure. This figure very much is tandem duplication, but displaced duplication is where the the genes, um, the second copies of the genes, are actually going to occur a long distance away from the original copy or the original segment. So that example. Um, is shown here. So after the centromere, we've got gene C, D, E, F, G, and then E, F again. So that duplication is going to show up further down from where it originally was um, copied. So duplications are a problem for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, the ability of chromosomes to correctly pair may not be able to happen. So this results in a mismatch between the homologs. So we can see that in this example here, we have a normal chromosome up here in part A. Um, so very normal. So genes A, B, the centromere, C, D, E, F, and G. And then if we get duplication happening, um, a tandem duplication happening, the genes for E and F are going to be duplicated right after the original E and F genes. 
So the problem becomes when these chromosomes go to align themselves during prophase one of meiosis, those extra gene copies of E and F that occur directly after the original EF genes, they don't have anybody to pair with. So you can see it actually creates this replication bubble down here because the G, G gene is actually looking for its mate. So it has to scrunch up the extra copies of the E and the F gene. So this is a problem because we can actually see double expression depending on what trait we're looking at. And uh, sometimes it'll cause an abnormal phenotype. One example that we see duplication cause issues with is in uh, Drosophila or flies, the common house fly. And this happens when we see duplication of the bar region and it's going to create a problem for vision in flies. So in this figure we can see in um, A up here, this is a normal individual. So they have one bar region on one chromosome, another bar region on the paired chromosome. And that results in a normal wild type phenotype for the eye. So they have lots of retinal material so they can see very well. So a here is a normal um, is a normal phenotype and a normal genotype. Because of duplicative efforts, we can um, actually see different mutants start to occur. So if we get um, duplication on one chromosome, so that bar region is duplicated in a tandem fashion, then you can see that we have a reduction in the retinal material of the fly's eye. If we get double duplication happening on uh, both chromosomes, as shown here in C, we can see an even further um, amount of loss of retinal material in the eye. So these, these flies have very little ability to see. And then finally, if we get three bar regions on one chromosome and only one on the other chromosome, because of duplication, then we can see that there's almost no retinal material in, um, for these flies and they, can, they can't see hardly at all. So this is one example of how um, tandem duplication can affect phenotypes. So to further discuss this um, in the Drosophila, we can see an unequal crossing um, that will occur. So, and, so as chromosomes come together in prophase one, they're trying to pair up with one another. And what ends up happening is we get wild type chromosomes um, that are going to um, go through the duplication process and actually splice out genes. Um, that could be beneficial. And then the bar chromosomes, they don't have the ability to um, for splicing to happen. So that's why you get an individual chromosome that could have three different bar bodies on it and resulting in very, very small retinal material. All right, so duplication can actually alter the phenotype of um, a couple of different ways. Note that the genetic information is not missing in this example. We actually have more information than we need. So, and that's because we have additional copies of the same gene. So the abnormal amounts of gene product that are created with the duplication mutation, um, that results in the gene dosage being off or not normal. So if we have two copies or a normal um, genotype, that could produce um, just a normal amount or a 1x amount of protein. However, if we have three copies of the genotype, that could produce one and a half times the amount of protein. So that protein is the part that's biologically active and actually is going to determine the phenotype. So if you have more than it's expected, we can see some mutations happen um, at the phenotypic level. All right, so... Um, another example that we see duplication occurring in is in zebrafish, and um, 
during the development process, um, zebrafish uh, really require the interaction of many different genes. Their genome is quite large. So if we see duplication of specific genes um, happening, then that'll increase the proportional concentrations and can alter the phenotype of the fish. So for example, in this figure, we've got um, the uh, many genes that are being expressed during the growth period. So we have gene A, B, and C, and they're going to all produce protein that's going to have some sort of effect on the phenotype. So if that protein um, is expressed in the embryo and we only have one copy of, the, of gene A, one copy of gene B, one copy of gene C, and that results in normal protein um, at that point, then we're going to get normal development of the zebrafish. However, if duplicate, tandem duplication takes place and we get two copies of the B gene, then we have two copies of the B protein. And that will actually alter the, the dosage of the phenotype for the striping in zebrafish.